It's that time again, folks. You already know what it is. My Hero Academia Chapter 367 spoilers are here, and this chapter might honestly have broken Deku. Shout out to Rukasu, Justice, and Dobby's pole dance, and anyone else having to do with the leaks, and let's get to it. So Rukasu tells us that the chapter begins with the Jets finding Deku in the middle of the ocean. They tell him that the school bus is here, and he hangs onto them with Black Whip. The leader of the pilot says that although they should be monitoring UA, they decided to bet on Deku. And we also get a pretty good reminder from Rukasu that the leader of the jet pilots is named Ethan Drive, and we actually got his character profile in volume 34, which you can see here. And looking at the first page, that is exactly what we see. We catch back up with Deku, who was flying and seeing several figures in the distance, and we see that those actually were Star and Stripes jets. And as Deku is communicating with the jets, he actually latches Black Whip onto one of the jets and begins swinging from jet to jet, like in that old Spider-Man game where you have to swing all the way to the Statue of Liberty by using, I think it was like Mysterio's alien UFOs or something. That's like a fresh unlocked core memory, but Deku pretty much spider swings between the different giant flying jets moving at massive speed. And the pilots tell Deku that their little sister has bet on the future of the new generation and that it's up to him to defeat the greatest villain. And as he says that, we see a really resolved Deku pretty much using the jets as web zip points. And remember, the issue before was that Deku couldn't build up Fajin because he couldn't really use Black Whip to move his body here. But now, during this process, he definitely could have built up Fajin and actually started going way faster, probably using Foe 100% on the way, if not trying to store up all his Fajin energy for the battle. Now, going back to the present, we see Deku lands a kick on Tamora All for One or Shigaraki. And this happens immediately after the end of last chapter, right? Last chapter, we saw. Shigaraki gets surprised by Deku and get kicked right in like his center mass and flipped around and spun around as Deku turned ready to hit Shigaraki with another blow. And at the beginning of this chapter, when we see them again, Shigaraki is already getting wrapped up by Black Whip and Deku immediately follows up the first hit with another kick. And I think interestingly enough, Horikoshi takes the smash sound effect from the last chapter, like literally the exact one, and overlays another smash over it, right? So like a brand new smash from this chapter, just showing how rapid in succession those two moves were back to back. And now Mirio's reaction to all this happening, Deku finally getting here, right? But still sticking out of the ground and everything is obviously tearful smiling because Deku's finally here. They actually did it. They bought time. Everything should be fine from here on out, right? And while Shigaraki is getting hit by Deku and having the wind pretty much knocked out of him, he's even realizing that Deku is much stronger now than he was the last time that they fought. And that's right, because Deku now has Fajin, right? Which we know does make him way more powerful, way faster. It makes him better at everything. So Shigaraki is in trouble here. Noticing the energy coming out of Deku's body, Shigaraki, or all for one, I suppose, remembers the third one for all user. And this is actually where on the page, we do get a small one panel flashback to the third one for all users fight against all for one. And that means by this point, we've now actually gotten a small piece of every individual one for all members fight against all for one. We keep getting little flashbacks to the all for one and all might fight. We did see that one page where all the one for all users are like bloodied and they're passing their quirk on. Recently, we got the page where we saw the second user in All For One's flashback, which is likely from when they fought because it's before he has a scar. And now we have the third user with tears in his eyes and blood looking really, really resolved and actually really, really cool, covered in the Fajin energy, wiping his nose or covering his mouth as he smiles as he takes on All For One in the past, a fight that we know he eventually probably lost. Now, the attack that Deku did on Shigaraki actually sends him bouncing and flying all through the battlefield as he knocks in the structures and completely destroys them and ends up flying into the cage or the electrical wall that's surrounding UA. And after this kind of two hit combo that Deku does on Shigaraki, you know, he kind of thinks, okay, I've gotten him out of the way. You know, I've moved Shigaraki away for a second. I now have a second to turn around and say, hey, sorry, everyone. Sorry for being late, you know, kind of reassuring them that everything is going to be okay from now on. But that's when Deku turns around and sees the devastation that Shigaraki has left for him. He turns and just sees an open battlefield with a bunch of fingers everywhere. I'm sure he's like, what's that about? And amongst a pile of fingers and rubble and torn cords, he can see Bakugo 
laying on the ground. And on the next page, we can even see that Bakugo's eyes are still like half open like they were when he initially died, right? And we see the bloody All Might card next to Bakugo, and it looks like something in Deku's head just gets like disconnected at this point. He slowly turns his head and sees Best Genus trying to lift one of his cords, and Best Genus is defeated. He looks over at Nejire and she's out cold with a big bloody mark across her stomach. Tamaki is laying over, gripping his stomach with blood dripping from him. Mirko, who's always so ferocious, has no arms, one leg, and is knocked out against a tree. And as Deku is realizing all of this, Shigaraki is starting to get back up. Tamora all for one tells Deku that he's too late, and wonders if he's going to make any excuses, like there's no way I could have gotten here faster, pretty much just mocking Deku right in this moment of ultimate realization. Deku looks back at Bakugo and starts doing that motion that he does when he's about to cry where he kind of like folds over, but you can tell he's just filling with rage. His eyes start to fill with energy, surging past his eye sockets as energy starts coming out of his mouth. And as Deku starts to think about all the loss that he suffered here, he loses it. He completely loses control and we start seeing Black Whip coming out from all different areas of his body. We start seeing energy coming from his eyes just like when he was really really mad at Shigaraki during the last war and his face and hair are completely covered in dark energy as we get this really really cool and just twisted panel of Deku writhing in anger and pain with Black Whip even coming out of his mouth. And Shigaraki loves this, he's loving it because from his perspective Shigaraki sees this as a perfect scenario for him. He he thinks that Deku is going to now be blinded by rage and that he's going to come running toward Shigaraki so Shigaraki is going to take advantage of that and just break his back and end the fight in one move. And just like when it looks like that is exactly what's going to happen, Mirio pops out of the ground next to Deku and he screams to Deku that everything is going to be okay. He then comes out of the ground even further and puts his hands on Deku's shoulders. From one student of Nighteye to another, he pleads with Deku and says that he understands that Deku must be blaming himself and seeing all this hurt and pain. But this is what Tamora All For One wants. He wants Deku to lose control. But what Deku doesn't know that Mirio tells him is that everyone else is still alive and Edshot is replacing Bakugo's organs, even fixing him. So they'll succeed and they'll suffer no losses in this war as long as Deku doesn't give up here and brings it all home. And Shigaraki, seeing Mirio trying to get through to Deku, says that these are just platitudes, that everyone here is just ignoring the reality of what happened and what is going to happen. But that's when Mirio says that they're heroes. So what if it doesn't sound realistic to try to save everybody? A hero's job is to make fantasy into reality. And this is when Deku remembers All Might, the pilot, and Banjo's words, and various figures who've had a very big impact on Deku, not his dad of course, who tell him to control his heart. And then as Deku kind of comes to his senses, he apologizes to Lemillion, and Lemillion tells Deku, hey, it's nothing, you know, apologies come after we win, go out there and get him. So that's when Deku starts to finally get himself under control, and he turns to Tamora All for One, and asks him, is Shigaraki still in there? with all the One For All users being visible floating behind Deku. And his eyes are still overflowing of energy, we can see his pupils and we can see little marks of tears, so Deku is really really mad, but he's in control. So it's like a controlled rage Deku. And at the very end of the chapter, we see all those strands of Black Whip that were leaving Deku's body and going out of control, now tightening around his scarf closer to his face as Deku more or less uses Black Whip as a scarf. And that, folks, is the very end of the chapter of My Hero Academia, chapter 366, but check back tomorrow in the next couple days because we're going to have a couple videos just explaining other things that happen in the chapter way more in depth after the even more detailed summary comes out or after we've had a couple chances to read this through and really think about what the implications of this chapter have. So if you've noticed, I've been going daily on my channel all month and we are going to keep that going all throughout the rest of the year. So again, please do check back tomorrow for another upload. So again, please do come back tomorrow for another upload about this chapter and yeah this is pineapple i'll see you guys later leaks were a little early tonight and yeah that's great we all get to rest tonight so see you later peace